story you'll only see on the one and only a critical situation behind a condo building in Hollandale Beach. The seawall suddenly collapsed, nearly sending cars plunging into the intracoastal. Local Sun News reporter Janine Stanwood is live with the exclusive. Janine. There were two cars that were so close to the edge. All of this was happening right here at this condo just across from the intracoastal. One of the car's owners tells us he was shocked. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, if somebody happened, it was daytime, somebody's walking by there. That's a problem. David Weeks says he was woken up after 11 o'clock last night and told his car was hanging over the edge of his condo seawall that was washing away. So I throw some pajamas on, run downstairs, and sure enough, my car is tilted into the water. He says the white car next to his seen here was even more precariously dangling. His front two tires were in the water. The water. Mm -hmm and the tow truck had it very, very carefully back and forth, back and forth. Drone video sent to Local 10 shows the damage. Hallandale Beach Fire Rescue telling us the seawall at the Plaza Towers North condominium partially collapsed into the intracoastal. Thankfully, when crews arrived, no one was hurt. No, information we're good. That we can get we're off good, camera. guys. We're good. This woman says she's the owner of the building. I'm and just telling you that you. I want you to leave the property because we're not talking to you. We Management leave. asked us okay. to leave, which we did, and say they'll be fixing the wall. And it's and, even and, worse now than it was this morning. Well, right now you can see those orange cones right by that seawall. Again, management telling us they will be fixing this situation. We do also have a call into Hallandale Beach Public Works. No doubt this is an ongoing situation. The residents want that seawall fixed. If you want to check out more pictures, follow me on social media at Janine WPLG. We're in Hallandale Beach. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Okay,